Alright, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you the main weapons I'm going to be using for my channel. Let's start with the weakest one, which is this one. It's a... Uh, what is this? <laughs> I think it's an M4. It's really good for uh, the plastic BBs that it uses. Mm, they're not as strong as the other two, but very accurate. Um, it has a adjustable stock. It has um, sights here, and one side down here. Well, right down here, on this end, right here. I attached my own flashlight, but it, it does come with this one, which is actually blue and it's really cool. But it's out of battery right now. It's really good, adjustable grip. Really nice. And this you could take off too. Top of that, just comes right off like that. Whoops. Yep. Not bad, but pretty cool. That's one of the ones I'm gonna use. <clears throat> this one is the repeater, the Daisy repeater. Here's the stats about it. Pretty good. I mean, spring air powered. It's not, um, you know, the pressurized gas, but it's really good. Uses metal BBs. Really strong. You can carry even more in here. Little slot. Won't really open. It's hard to open it, but yeah, it has a slot to carry more in here. But this one's really strong compared to the, you know, non-metal BBs. Just cocks back. Voila. Safety right here. That's about all the features. Not much on this. It's really good. And finally, but not least, I got this one. This is the what was it? The M MK one seven seven. Very good gun. By far my favorite. The this doesn't come off. The, the clip stays in there, but. It's a um, gravity loaded BB, so you can hold up to like 300 in here. I don't know if you can see them in there, but they're there. And um, I put on my own laser sight right here, as you can see. You just push the button down and it should shoot out a laser right there. The thing about it is, you're supposed to put on, the, on your grip here, so when you hold the gun, it automatically lights the, the laser, but it would look ridiculous going away over here. It wouldn't reach. So I just stuck it right here. Just shoot with the middle finger like that. It also has pellets right here. And pull this back. Pull the pellets out. Stick them in there. Really strong gun. This one shoots about 800 feet per second. The plastic one about... Plastic BB, the M4. Shoots about... What was it? Hmm... It's not that much, it's like 300 I think. And the repeater, let's see. Where's the velocity? Does it not say? Huh. 240 feet per second. Not bad. But metal BB is definitely stronger than plastic. This is the ammo for the M4. Just normal plastic BB is really the weakest, but it's cheaper. <coughs> These are the metal BBs, though. I believe. Not sure, yeah. 0.177. These go for the gun. The repeater and uh, the AR right there. You can use them on both of them. They're really good. Strong. And the 0.77 um, 
These are the pellets I have. Let's see, it looks like. I don't know, flatheads. Um, I don't know. We'll check those out later. They have flathead, flatheads, uh, pointy ones, and I think hollow point. But yeah. I have those too. Alright. Alright, so let's check out how they perform. Alright, so I got the M4 ready right here. I got the bread, I had to put a little thing through it so it can hold still, but it's good there. So let's see what it does. Alright. I'm gonna shoot it point blank so it can have the best effect. Wow. Well, as you can see there, the bullet just got stuck on it. Didn't even go through. Just a little indent indention in there. So definitely, definitely don't want to use those. Not strong enough. Definitely not. Alright, let's try the, the repeater. Alright, this one has a um, metal BB, so it should go through a lot better than the last one. Alright, let's see. Take safety off. I don't know if I have any bullets in it. No. Alright, we'll let that. See what it does. Right here. All right. That one did go through. I don't think you can really see it. Let's check out how many lasers went through. Let's see what it through. Went through the first, and that's it. Found the bullet right here. There's the BB. Right there. You can barely see it. That's it. It only went through one. It's kind of impressive. I thought it would go through a lot more. I didn't think it would just only go through one, but I guess so. Let's try the other one. Alright. I got the MK177. This one should go more than one. For sure. Alright, let's see if it has anything in the chamber. No, it doesn't. Nope. Alright, let's try it out. Oh, look at that. Wow. They are bent. <laughs> I hit the wall with those two and they got destroyed. Alright, well. Alright. <laughs> I just saw the wall pretty much, I didn't even need to shoot none of these. But, this time I will. Alright, I got it, I got it in. Um, I'm gonna shoot, gonna be shooting a, um, what was it? A flat head at the bread, see how far it goes through with the flat head. Alright, let's get some pumps. Let's shoot it point but <laughs> laser ain't gonna work on it. Here we go. Wow. That looks crazy. As you can see, made straight through the first one. Straight through the second one. I don't know if you can see it there. Straight through. Right there in the middle. Straight through the third one. Straight through the fourth one. Straight through the fifth one. Sixth one. Seventh one. Eighth one. Nine. Ten. Right here, starting to fall. And eleven. And I got stuck on the eleventh bread. If you can see it right there. 
That's where he got stuck. And there's the BB. The pellet. Excuse me. Camera doesn't want to focus. But yeah, there's the pellet right there. Went straight through. Three, six, nine, ten. Eleven pieces of bread, so. And I'm pretty sure if I use. Oh, wait. No, no. I'm pretty sure if I use the. The pointed. The pointed bullets. Which I misfired. But if I use the pointed ones. They're right there. Pretty sure if I use those. It would go way. Like, way beyond 11 breads. So I'm pretty sure. Probably go through all of them. But yeah. 11 pieces of bread. With the MK177.